Hello YouTube! Welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the Master of Hobbits. Um, now today's beer is the final of the Samuel Smith beers, the oatmeal stout. Right here for you, Samuel Smith, uh, Samuel Smith's <laughs> oatmeal stout. Uh, first off, Tantrum. You said your favorite band with, was Pantera, and um, and asked if I didn't wear any Pantera shirts. But here it is for you. With a death rattlesnake. I love Pantera as well. And then something else. Um, pretty cool thing happened today. My friend uh, entered a contest to win some Guns N' Roses tickets. And he won. So we're, I'm going to go see Guns N' Roses here in two weeks or so. They're playing in my city. Even though I'm not too big on Guns N' Roses anymore. But whatever. And then also there's a person you need to check out here on YouTube. His name is uh, Simon. He, he has a... He does, he's British, I think he's from Wales, he's Welsh. He does some pretty good beer reviews of English beer and also some foreign. He's called um, uh, The Real Ale Guide. I'll just post a link or an annotation. Uh, but to the beer. Um, the Samuel Smith Oatmeal Stout. Heard this is the best of all the ones I've got. And uh, yeah, let's just read the description here. Uh, fermented in slate Yorkshire squares to create an almost opaque, wonderfully silky and smooth textured ale with a complex medium dry palate and bittersweet finish. The history. The ty this type of ale that was originally considered nutritional uh, and prescribed for nursing mothers and athletes. Cool. Independent assessment. Excellent balance with rich flavor and a very lingering finish. Robert Parker, the Vine Advocate's Guide to the World's Greatest, greatest Beers. Hmm. And serving suggestions. Pizza and salad, pasta and other Italian foods. Lobster with drawn butter. Steak and kidney pie. Plowman's lunch. Dark flavorful bread. And British and French cheeses. It's brewed with water, malted barley, cane sugar, roasted barley, yeast, hops, oatmeal, seaweed fillings, carbon dioxide. And it's to be served at 55 degrees Celsius, oh, <laughs> Celsius Fahrenheit, and 13 degrees Celsius. And uh, this is about 12, 13 degrees. Well, let's crack it open. Looking forward to this one since it should be the best of the bunch. And I really like the Teddy Porter. Mm, that smells really good. Let's pour it into the Fuller's English Pint glass. Pour a bit more aggressive to get ahead. Ah, whoa. Okay, this looks pretty darn good. Um, ah, oh, this is an awesome head. Like, really marshmallowy. Like, it's like a burnt marshmallowy again. It's like two and a half finger head. It's tan or like slightly brown. Uh, okay, this one is pitch black though. No! This is, it, it's darker, almost opaque black. It's darker than the, the Teddy Porter, but there's again some ruby reddish notes coming through, but it's not a lot at all. Not a lot at all. Uh, let's check out the aroma on this one. Um, oh, a ton of roasted malt. And it's also quite sweet. Uh, there's a quite sweet sensation. Um, that's because of the oatmeal. Actually, I haven't had an oatmeal stout in a while, but it's a stout, or an oatmeal stout. I'm, I'm not sure if this goes under the category sweet stout, but it's called an oatmeal stout. Um, nice, like, uh, roasted uh, malts. Um, there is maybe a faint amount of dark fruit, but it's not much. I like a charcoaly type of aroma as well. And burnt. There's, there's not as much much chocolate as in the Teddy Porter, but, but there is some chocolate. It smells really good, actually. Let's dig in, give it a taste. Oh yeah, yeah, that's good stuff. That's very very smooth. Um, yeah. Oh, a nice aftertaste. Um, As they said, nice, silky, medium body. Fair amount of carbonation, not too much. It's quite roasted. And then like a charcoaly, burnt note. And it's also quite sweet. It's quite sweet just because of the oatmeal.
Yeah, quite sweet as well. There is some chocolate, but there was way more chocolate in the Teddy Porter, in my opinion. There's also like a, in the aftertaste, a faint, faint licorice note. Yeah, there's like a burnt chocolatey flavor. It's really nice. And it's really like refreshing also for a stout. I wouldn't say it's that dry in the mouth. The mouthfeel, sort of a, again, like all the Samuel Smith beers I've had now ha have had has had these um, like cross between a dry and a watery mouthfeel, which is quite strange, but I like it. It's very drinkable, and also it's only on five percent alcohol, and again a 550 milliliter bottle, so it's again sessionable, which is really nice. Uh, but nice burnt chocolatey flavor. This is like so smooth and very very drinkable. If you're not the biggest fan of stouts, I think you would like this one maybe because it's a bit more sweet. Um, yeah, this is definitely the best of the bunch, uh, in my opinion, the best of all of them. Uh, I prefer this one and also the the Teddy Porter. That was really good. This one doesn't have that sort of tart fruitiness though. There is some faint faint amount of hops. That's not much. Yeah, but it's, and there is like actually an okay amount of chocolatey, uh, like dark chocolate. But it's not as much in the Teddy Porter. Uh, uh, it's really drinkable, very drinker friendly. Um, uh, rating wise, yeah, let's just give it another sip. It's also getting a 90, like the Teddy Porter. I might like this one a bit more, but still. For me, they're quite equal. Um, even though I just like prefer this one slightly more. I'm not, I'm not sure, really. It's definitely a good beer. Something you need yeah, need to check out. Again, this is a requested beer. So many people have requested it, and so most of you guys probably already had it. And it's good, definitely. If you haven't had it, be sure to check out check it out. So um, yeah, the Samuel Smith's Oatmeal Stout. Really good beer. Nice and. Fresh, uh, uh, smooth, really well balanced, pretty good. So uh, a 90 for the Samuel Smith Oatmeal Stab. I really like this one. Uh, yeah. So what else is there to say? But cheers, guys. Comment, subscribe, and all that. And I'm gonna see you in the next beer review.